like you know that it's your responsibility, it's your duty as a business owner to maximize profit. It's also your duty as a business owner to make sure that you're applying leverage at every possible data point you can apply leverage. Okay? At every data point you can apply leverage. And the third reason why driving for dollars is still trash is because all it is is data collection and it's the most expensive form of data collection. It's not worth it. Okay? How do I can you close the deal? Yes, you can close the deal. What are the chances you're going to close the deal? Almost none. How do I know? Because I deal with this all the time. Okay. I get all those emails all the time. See, if you haven't found out yet, a few people that watch my video, they go through smart real estate wholesaling or real estate money secrets.com. They end up inside and that's what we're talking. And I get a lot of these stories of people that have wasted time upon time upon time and they haven't touched marketing. So driving for dollars does not involve marketing, it's just data collection. This is why driving for dollars is still trash. I'm going to share three reasons why driving for dollars is still trash. Okay. But before I dive into that, let's talk about what is driving for dollars. You know, I did a video so a while back, I was basically making fun of it. And I said, walking for dollars. And I come to realize there's something called walking for dollars. And then my video is ranking for stuff like that, but oh well. Um, it's about driving for dollars and it's been sold quite a bit in this industry. And I get it, you know, I get it. There's uh, an assumption, not an assumption. We know for a fact that most people coming into the game will basically buy into any strategy. Okay. As long as it promises, it sounds good. It sounds good. Sounds promising that it's going to help them create their first deal maybe a first few deals here and there, especially if they hear a testimony of somebody doing well with driving for dollars. The last people I saw doing very well with driving for dollars, they weren't driving for dollars by themselves. They were leveraging other people that didn't know any better to drive for dollars. And before they have a hundred people driving for dollars, maybe two people bring in a few deals that becomes testimonial and everybody fall for it, falls for it. Now we know better. Okay. You and I know better. Okay. And I'm going to give you three different reasons. Okay. Um, why, um, why this is, this is a terrible, it's still trash. Okay. It's just trash. Uh, driving for dollars simply what, it, okay. There's wholesale real estate. There is real estate investing, right? Which is the idea is you're looking to buy low so you can sell high. You buy properties low and you sell high and finding such deals involve looking for distressed properties, but for the most part, looking for distressed homeowners, people that are stressed out with the ownership of a piece of property. That's what, uh, where a lot of these deals come from. Not necessarily that the house looks like that on the outside. The house may need a lot of work on the inside, but sometimes, a lot of times, most times, the house does not really look like that on the outside. Sometimes it does, right? But those few times when it does, uh, is it worth you driving around town? So when you find a house that looks like there's uh, uh, overgrown weed around it, or it looks like there's an abandoned roof on one edge of it, does that guarantee that to be a deal? It doesn't guarantee that to be a deal, but granted, it doesn't mean it has to be a deal. You can just find a few of those and one of them that can turn to a deal. After all, you're one deal away, right? But um, the stories that I keep getting are people that are frustrated from driving for dollars, all right? As a matter of fact, if you're one of those people and you're driving for dollars and you happen to stumble into this video, leave a comment below and, tell, and share your experience uh, why this is not advisable. Doesn't mean you cannot find a deal. No, it doesn't mean you can't find a deal. As a matter of fact, I think all marketing strategies work. The only problem here becomes the number one reason why driving for dollars is trash. It is, it involves no marketing. You're just driving around town collecting data. It's one step before any kind of marketing activity. And if you know anything about real estate wholesaling, it's about your marketing skill set. Okay, it's about filling the pipeline with leads, right? So if you're gonna engage majority, 99.99% of your time with activities and you haven't even touched marketing, it's like, what are you doing, <laughs> right? So think about it like this, there's five stages to real estate wholesaling, right? There's data, there's contact, there's leads, right? There's contract, and then there's deals. Data 
Yes, you're collecting data one for every um you're collecting data one every what should we call that one every 30 minutes you find another house with overgrown weed how many 30 minutes is in one single day at most 48 how many of those are you going to work maybe five hours so you're going to collect at least 10 properties there's a big problem with that and the big problem with that is that um it does not involve leverage driving for dollars does not involve leverage and if you know anything about marketing in this time and age is purely about digital marketing is about leverage right so again what are we talking about here this is supposed to be about building a business it does not involve marketing it doesn't involve leverage where's leverage in this game what is leverage leverage is being able to accomplish more or achieve more with less time or less resources right and just like you know that it's your responsibility, it's your duty as a business owner to maximize profit. It's also your duty as a business owner to make sure that you're applying leverage at every possible data point you can apply leverage. Okay? At every data point you can apply leverage. And the third reason why driving for dollars is still trash is because all it is is data collection and it's the most expensive form of data collection. It's not worth it. Okay? How do I can you close the deal? Yes, you can close the deal. What are the chances you're gonna close the deal? Almost none. How do I know? Because I deal with this all the time. Okay, I get all those emails all the time. See, if you haven't found out yet, a few people that watch my video, they go through smart real estate wholesaling or real estate money secrets.com, they end up inside, and that's what we're talking. And I get a lot of these stories of people that have wasted time upon time upon time and they haven't touched marketing. So driving for dollars does not involve marketing, it's just data collection, does not involve leverage, it's just data collection, and thirdly. It's just data collection. Okay, so you collected a piece, 10 pieces of property addresses, they look that they're dirty, and this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna be emotionally attached because why not? It, it only makes sense that you're emotionally attached to the outcome because you wasted all this time, resources, brakes, your tires, <laughs> right? on driving around town to collect these 10 pieces of property. At the back of your mind, you're like, this better turn to a deal right it's better turn to deal right because you have these high expectations naturally because you've spent so much of the most important resource in your lifetime your time on acquiring a bunch of useless property addresses whereas you could jump on a laptop you could take a free trial of empirebigdata.com you could jump on the quick laptop and you could go in there and you could collect all those type of properties you collect 10,000 of them right now in the next 24 minutes as opposed to spend the next 24 hours on 10 pieces of property. It's not worth it.